So here we're told that the um, trapezium has equal area to the triangle, okay? So if we can work out the area of one of them, which we can in this case, we can work out the area of the trapezium, then we can work out the length of AE. Now I say we can work out the area of the trapezium because we can use this formula here, which is in the formula list at the start of the paper. Okay, so that, that's what the diagram is drawn and the formula is given here. So what I'd say is area of trapezium, I'd state that formula from the formula list. And quite simply then, your A and B are the two sides that are parallel, okay? As is the case in your diagram that's given as well on page two, okay? Um, so four and six, it doesn't matter what order you write these in, it's four and six there. And then you've got to times it by the height between them, okay? That height there, so they've given the height here and they, outside the shapes they say is three. So we just need to work this out. So what I would do here is I'd work out the bracket first. So four and six is 10, and then times three. So I can do that all then in one go. Half times 10 is five. Okay, so half of 10 is five, and then times that by three, 15 centimeters squared. So the area of the trapezium is 15 centimeters squared, which means the area of the triangle is also 15 centimeters squared. Okay, so we've just got to work out AE then, but it, it can be quite awkward, right, with a triangle. If they give me the area to be 15, it's kind of awkward to work back, to work out the height of that triangle. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to add onto this shape, and I'm going to double up, if you like, the triangle. So two triangles, like that. Now I know if I put a triangle here, You'll have exactly the same area as this triangle here, 15. But when you combine them, it creates a rectangle, doesn't it? So I could say here, the area of the rectangle created is equal to those two combined. So that will be 30. But we know the formula for a rectangle is length times width. So length times width is 30. Now we know the width is 4. So all I've got to do then is work out what the length is. So I've got to think, what do we change by 4 to get 30? Or take the 4 over the other side, divide, and how many 4 is going to 30? Well, remember, one good way of dividing by 4 is halving and halving again. So if I halve 30, I get 15. And if I halve 15, half of 15 actually is 7.5, so 7.5 centimetres. So we could say then a. E is equal to 7.5 centimetres.